Hi, my name is PJ and welcome to the first MoGraph Monday. This is a series I'm going to start doing where I show you how to make motion graphic animations in DaVinci Resolve. Today I'm going to be showing you my new method for making this ring animation. I do suggest you have a basic understanding of Fusion, meaning you know about the inspector, the outputs of the nodes, and the meaning of the colors on each node. So without further ado, let me not waste your time. To start off, we're going to grab a background node and connect it to our media out. Ooh, and we're going to turn our background node and turn the alpha off. Now what we're going to do is grab a merge node, put it connected to our graph, and then we're going to hit shift space. I'm going to type in S ellipse. And what you can also do is hold shift and hit enter, and you'll still be in this search page. And you can also put S render, and we're going to put that on our graph as well. Now we're going to connect this S render to our green input. Now we're going to set up our circle, go into the inspector, hit the height, and we're going to click the value and hit equal sign. And we click, we're going to bring up this expression menu. And what we can do with this menu is connect this height input to the width. So this number is going to be the same as this number. So the width is always going to equal the height. And the circle will always stay a circle no matter how big or small it is. We're going to start our animation. So I want to keyframe at the beginning. I'm going to make my animation about 18 seconds. So I'm going to go 18 seconds, 18 frames forward. And then keyframe like that. Let's go to the first keyframe and make this value zero. We're going to open our spline and put our lips in our spline viewer. Let's zoom to fit. Let's highlight all these keyframes. Hit S and let's make an animation like this. Make an ease in curve. This halfway and I'll put this about halfway as well. Just like that. And you can see our animations just like that. Now we're we'll close the spline graph and let me just zoom out and rearrange the nodes just like this. And now what we're going to do is put this to put the output of the S render and also put it into the input of the mask on the merge, just like that. And I'm just going to add a pipe by hitting Alt on my keyboard and clicking the line. So we just have this little redirecting pipe for organization. And now what we're going to do is go to the merge, go to the settings of the merge, and set up the channel right here from alpha to luminance. So basically, since we have the circle going to the mask input of the mask. This is the type of masking that we're doing. And I chose luminance because this is also a masking map. So wherever it is white on the screen, right here is where the mask is gonna be. And wherever it is black or the alpha right here is gonna be transparent, just like that. And what I'm also gonna do to apply a mask invert so the circle disappears like that. And now what we're gonna do is grab a time speed node, just like this it on our graph right here I want to set this value to 1 and now what we have the animation just like that you can see just a little bit there's a little line so what I'm gonna add to the mass side is in a road dilate node just like this put it over here and I'm going to put this value at 0 0.001 it's just so we have something like this and there you can see that it doesn't uh, it's not even like this at the edge so we can change our filter mode to circle and now everything will look nice just like that all right and now I'm going to show you an instance where you would use this animation during an edit so I'm just going to copy these nodes go to the edit page and I have a clip like this so say I want the ring to pop up right when she puts her head up what I'm going to do is go into fusion it happens around 8 to 10 frames. Let's see, where is my stuff? Here it is. All right, let's paste our nodes just like that. Add another merge. And let's see where this happens. All right, so the circle animation starts at the beginning. And we want it to happen around 9 to 10 frames. So I'm just going to put another time speed node. Put it here with a delay to 9 frames. Now like that and we can also readjust the position in the merge well where the ring should appear like that is fine all right bop bop just like that all right there's also a ton of different other ways you can customize the circle so you can also add a duplicate node and it will duplicate versions of the circle let's put the 10 we could offset the side it like this, and so now our animation will go at the same time like that. You'd also have the delay 
or a pre delay. So I'm just gonna put this value at negative one. And so you have your first circle animation, and I'll go like that, and each copy is delayed by one frame. What we can also do is if we mess with the jitter, it will actually randomize the position of these circles. Just like that. You can also change the animation if you move the axis point, but yeah, just like that. And then you can also mess with the size and just play around with all the controls, but yeah. If you have any more questions or suggestions on what I should do in the future, please let me know down below. And if you'd like additional help from other Resolve editors just like you, you can join the Resolve AMV community discord, where there's a bunch of people that can help you out, as well as my own discord server if you would like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day. Bangers. Kind of. I oh yeah! Oh my God! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go! That's clean. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs>